Hey Franelin and welcome back to my YouTube channel! So for today's vlog, I will be giving you things you need to know before you're starting your YouTube channel. So the first thing is having video ideas ready or having videos ready. Um, but first, let us talk about having video ideas ready. As you probably already know by now, it is very important from with YouTube that you stay consistent. Consistency on YouTube is everything. So, and it just makes your life so much easier. Napakadaling, sobrang gumagaan at dumadali yung YouTube career natin tuwing meron na tayong video ideas prepared. Kasi, mas madali kang makakapag-film, mas madali kang makagawa ng videos kung alam mo na kung ano yung video ideas na gagawin mo. Compared to you just started now, you just uploaded your first video, and then next week, you don't know what you're going to upload anymore. For me, it's better na meron ka ng YouTube video ideas before you start your YouTube channel. That way, you will make your uploading, weekly uploading, so much easier and so much faster. And it, it will make you stay organized and ahead para smooth yung inyong YouTube start. Um, para naman dun sa part na having, having videos ready. Kasi, um, if you started your YouTube channel, it will feel super overwhelming kapag iniisip mo every day ka na lang mag na, oh my god, I need to film, I need to edit, I need to do this, I need to do that. So, you need to get ahead. Other YouTubers actually film for videos for the whole month. They would already start filming for an entire month before the next month would start. Before October comes, I would already have videos ready for the entire October so that when October comes, I won't have to, to scramble trying to film, trying to think what kind of video ideas I need to upload during that month. So that way, on the month of October, ang ipifilm ko na lang is my videos for November. And that way, it will make my life so much easier. Especially for someone, for those of you who have regular jobs or who have, uh, for those of you who are like me, who have a newborn kid with me at home, it would be so much faster and so much easier kung meron na tayong video ready idea. Kung meron na tayong mga pre-filmed videos na ang gagawin na lang natin is i-upload na lang natin sa YouTube channel natin. So, mas mapapadali yung proseso natin pagka meron na tayong ganun. So, for those of you who are just starting right now, I suggest that you should do this. Magkaroon na kayo ng at least or at least 10 video ready para naman mas madali, mas smoother, mas I, I, I'm telling you. Kasi dyan ako nag-fail. Nung nag-start ako mag-YouTube, nung nag-start ako, see, I'm already uh, on YouTube for one year na. One year na ako ngayon sa YouTube. Um, I was very consistent. I was like uploading every every week. And then, I got burnt out. You know, uh, napagod na ako mag-edit kasi parang everyday na lang lag ako nag-iisip na ano na kayang i-upload ko, ano na gagawin ko, ano na gagawin ko, ganyan. So, napagod ako at hindi ako nag-upload for at least, hindi ako nakapag-upload for good 6 months. So, it took me a while para makapag-upload ulit kasi nakakapagod talaga. So, for those of you who are starting, if you can, please have at least videos, ideas for you to make your life easier or better yet, mag-film na kayo, mag-edit na kayo, i-ready nyo na para upload, upload, upload na lang ang gagawin nyo when the time comes. So, the second one is prepare your equipment. But, I'm telling you right now, you don't need the fanciest equipment in the world. Okay? Hindi mo na kailangan gumastos, hindi mo na kailangan kung ano-ano pang send, kung ano-ano pang bibilhin, okay? Please don't think na kailangan mong bumili, na kailangan mong ganito, kailangan mo na ganyan. No, 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 no. I'm telling you right now, you don't need a lot of equipment. But, of course, you cannot record a video without a camera. Phone cameras is good enough. Phone lang ang gamit ko, kadalasan. Right now, I'm not using my phone, obviously because I have my phone right here with me. So if you have a good quality camera on your phone, please use that. Don't think na kailangan mong bumili, okay? Use what you have. But please make sure that you have a good quality camera on your phone. If 
your front face camera is not good enough. Make sure na ang gagamitin mo is yung back face, yung back camera mo, yung 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 camera mo dito sa likod instead of the ones facing in front. Kasi um, that will make the camera I uh, the quality of your videos better. Um for the lighting, um right now I am on honestly using uh this very cheap um lamp. Uh it's just a desk lamp that I bought at Walmart last time. But it's just very cheap and you don't necessarily need to buy lighting. You could always use the natural lighting from the sun in the morning, you know, if you film ka na lang ng umaga. And make sure na hindi ka masyadong maliwanag, hindi rin masyadong madilim. As long as you have good enough lighting, okay na yon. So, for the mic, microphone naman. Um, right now, I'm just using the microphone na available sa, sa camera ko. Or if I'm using my phone, I only just use whatever um, the phone microphone. Yun lang gamit ko. Wala na ko ibang ginagamit. I think it's good enough for me. It's good enough for you guys to hear me. So, I don't spend any money on camera uh, on for the microphone. The tripod. You don't necessarily need tripod cuz marami namang paraan para mai set up natin yung cellphone natin. Others, other YouTubers I've seen that they only use like book pinagpatong-patong lang nila yung book and then sinet up lang nila yung phone nila na kaganyan. Pwede na. Pwede na yung ganun. Pero kung talagang gusto niyang bumili, maraming murang at uh, maraming murang options. Pwede yung yung monopod just sa uh, selfie sticks. Pwede din yun as a tripod. Marami ring mumurahing um, tripod available anyway. Pero like I said, you don't necessarily need to buy a tripod. There's always an option. Kung gugustuhin, maraming paraan. I think that's it for the basic e equipment for filming anyway. So, don't feel the need to spend so much money for your equipment. So, the next one is learn basic editing and filming. So, the competition on YouTube now is so big. Serious. Masyado na tayong maraming YouTubers. Ang dami na nating YouTubers ngayon sa YouTube. Mga Filipinos, mga um, sa, sa buong mundo, napakarami na nating YouTubers ngayon. Kailangan natin makipagsabayan. Pero that doesn't mean na kailangan mo yung pinaka mamahaling editing software. No, you don't need that. I know a lot of successful YouTubers that um, only edit using their phone. You just have to have a presentable video so that um, you will catch the attention of your viewer. For editing, um, simple lang naman yan. Maraming, maraming YouTube tutorials on YouTube on how to edit your videos. Uh, the, the most basic lang ang kailangan mo to start your channel at least. You can always improve, okay? You can always improve and learn more. But the next one is know your music, guys. Uh, there's nothing worse than getting the uh, email from YouTube that your video got copyrighted. As you all know by now, you just you cannot just use any music you want on YouTube. Kasi may copyright na siya. Hindi na tayo pwedeng gumamit lang ng kahit anong music na gugustuhin natin. Uh, we have to be careful. One tip for you guys is so what I do is um, I like edit a very short or like a fake video. I won't put it on on public. But private ko lang siya. Tapos i upload ko doon kung ano yung music na gagamitin ko to make sure na walang magaging copyright. Try nyo lang magwait lang kayo ng mga few minutes. Try nyo ko uh, um kasi within a few minutes nag usually nagre-respond na sila ko my copyright uh, ba yung music na ginagamit niyo. So the next tip for you guys is join other small YouTuber community. It's very important for you guys to join other YouTubers. For me, because you could learn from other YouTubers as well. From them, there's a lot to learn about YouTube. Very beneficial na mag-join ka ng ibang community. So the next one is let your friends and family know that you are starting your YouTube channel. 
Why? Because they could also be your um, your first supporters, your first viewers. So that would also count for your YouTube channel. Because you could also get their opinion. You could easily ask them like, does my video look okay? Does Do I sound okay? Do I look okay? And it, it's, it's views that would count for your channel as well. So, you know, you should let your friends and family know. Uh, the next one is watching YouTube tutorials. It is very important for you to watch YouTube tutorials just like this. Kasi very helpful yun para malaman mo kung ano yung dapat mong gawin, kung ano hindi mo dapat gawin, kung paano sila gawin. So, you know, it's very, very helpful na manood ng YouTube tutorials. I cannot tell you how many YouTube tutorials I watched before starting my YouTube channel. From editing to doing this to doing that to simply uploading um, my YouTube videos on my YouTube channel, I had. I tried my best to search for the best YouTube tutorials for that. It makes navigating YouTube so much easier for me when I watch YouTube tutorials because you know you find different ways to, on how to do things. Um, the next one is having business email. Okay, having business email ready separate from your everyday email kasi marami nang masyadong first of all marami masyadong maraming spam emails na dumadating na sa ating mga email ads right now so to make it easier for you to find business offers sponsorships and brand deals like that you should have a separate YouTube email account so that it's easier for you to see whenever you get emails from businesses that will want to collab with you to sponsor your videos you know i think it's very beneficial so the next one is have confidence you know i am a very very shy person and i know you can tell that by the way i talk but try to be confident in front of the camera if you are not used to talking in front of the camera i know it's it's awkward i really feel awkward even right now that i'm alone i mean i'm not alone technically alone because i'm with my baby but i feel very awkward talking in front of the camera for me what i do is i sit in front of my mirror and that's where i try to talk that's where i that, that's where i practice talking i sit in front of the mirror with my camera or sometimes without i just i just talk a talk so the next one is be the best because like i said napakarami din natin youtubers ngayon so be yourself is always the um, advice the most youtuber give you but for me i think being yourself is not enough now so for me be the best version of yourself just be the best version of yourself and your success will come okay guys so that is it for today you guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helped and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and I do live streaming every once in a while so please hit the notification bell button as well so you will get updated whenever I upload my new videos and whenever I am doing my live streaming so Thank you, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!